was drinking said, go ahead, Rich, shoot something else. <laughs> so I shot the motor, <laughs> and the motor fell out the motherfucking right motor said, fuck it. <laughs> so I went on in the house, because <laughs> they got magnum stoop. <laughs> and they don't just kill cars, they kill niggas. <laughs> It's just my story of this specific era and growing up being a black Jewish girl that didn't fit in. Now my bubby, which is my grandmother on my maternal side, the first time she ever saw me, she took one look at me and said, My, she's black as a berry, black as a berry. Show business is a heartbreaker. If, if it doesn't work, it's, you know, it's not good. I had an agent. I was going out on these auditions, but they wanted me to be my dad. They wanted me to be this, this stand-up, and it's funny, and you're Richard Pryor's daughter, and blah, 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 and you're going to make it. And I said, I created a solo show, and they said, you're stupid. You got some Caucasian in you. What's some black? No, some woo, 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 woo. <laughs> oh, oh, you were Jewish? Today, I have this beautiful child with her gold skin and her big gold hair that has to know that she's okay in the world as she is. And it's for us to change perception. Her mama, Sydney, Shirley, Shirley. <laughs> they be so many of them. Rich always had his nose open to the white stuff. I'm talking about the women too now. <laughs> I started to do her and the audience laughed and I was like, oh, you're laughing at me doing my mother. This is serious for me. You know, she was strict. God damn it, Ray! Are you trying to drive me crazy? You're already crazy, mother! She's hard hit and make us off behind. You cannot tell Rain, don't touch it, it's hot. You might as well just bring the stove to her and tell her. Good. <laughs>